The herbology program here at Eden Village is very um, varied and fun. In the chugim, which are the activities that we do that campers choose, we make salves, we make syrups, we make extracts, we make teas, and also I allow the students to get interested in a subject and to suggest things and I will supervise them in ways of medicine making using plants. Um, I would say the favorites are the syrups and you know here at Eden Village we don't use sugar much in our cooking at all so the honey that goes into the syrup I think is one of the reasons that makes the syrup such a hit. Uh, so one one hug that is pretty popular is we gather plantain leaves which are growing all around us here at Eden Village and we take the plantain leaves to the drying shed, which is just over on the other side of the lake. We dry them for a few days, and then we make an oil from the plantain by soaking the plantain in olive oil. After a while, after several days, it's ready to be used as a base for a salve. Um, here we are in the herb garden at Eden Village. It's amazing to think that Two and a half years ago, there was no garden here. This was a, uh, a parking lot. And now we have echinacea and bone set and evening primrose and marshmallow and many butterflies and other creatures all growing here. Each of these herbs is an herb which is safe and effective in use. Some we use the roots and the flowers, like the echinacea. Others we use the leaves, like the bone set, and some we use the seeds and flowers, like the evening primrose. And um, it's my fav one of my favorite spots here at Eden Village Camp. So Judaism and Jewish spirituality kind of informs all that happens here at Eden Village Camp. I usually ask the campers, um, where do these plants come from? And their answers are amazing and informative. And so we like to take into account both that evolution is one aspect of what's going on and also that a great and beneficent creator created plants that help us heal and that also nourish us and that we have a responsibility for tikkun ha'olam. So because many of the wild places are being encroached upon, it's also a strong Jewish value to protect and replant. We say, El na rafana la, when we make the medicine which is a Jewish prayer that was said for Miriam um, for healing. And so just to infuse that into the medicine making is a nice facet too. For me to offer this practice to children too is a treat that it's, it's, it's hard for me to describe how touching it is to see a child go from never having or maybe very infrequently made tea themselves being able to select and make a tasty tea that they like to drink themselves. And it's something that I think will stay with them for the rest of their lives, and it will definitely stay with me for the rest of my life, seeing so many children enjoying herbology and learning so much.